I'm so glad you're here today. For this story, you might want to get a piece of paper and a pencil. My paper has a little mark on one side, but that's fine. It doesn't matter for this story. Just something to practice drawing on because the name of our story is called Miss McCaw Learns to Draw, and it's by Kathy Zimok. Dudley Ellington had trouble in school. He wasn't very good at paying attention, and it took him a long time to learn new things. When Dudley didn't know how to do his work, he'd think about racing cars and rocket ships, and he would fidget in his seat. Here he is, he's fidgeting. All the people are concentrating and focused, but he's distracted. Most teachers lost their patience with Dudley Ellington, but not Miss McCaw, the teacher in room 10. She was the best teacher that Dudley ever had. When Dudley didn't understand something, Miss McCaw would explain it over and over until it made sense. And look how happy now he understands. They must have been doing with something with math. They've got the unit blocks over here. And if anyone made fun of Dudley, Miss McCaw would ask them to stop. Oh, look how he's feeling. Miss McCaw taught her class about the moon and the stars, volcanoes, dinosaurs, owls, and butterflies. She was so smart, the children in room 10 thought their teacher knew everything. Until one day, they watched her trying to draw a person's face on the board. She tried and tried and tried some more. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. And finally she gave up saying, I just can't do it. I don't know how. Poor Miss McCaw. No matter how hard I try, she said sadly, I cannot figure out how to draw a face from the side. The children in room 10 were stunned. They sat there looking at their teacher. No one knew what to do. Until somebody called out, Don't worry, Miss McCaw, I'll show you how. As the rest of the class watched in surprise, Dudley Ellington and Miss McCaw changed places. Dudley stood at the board with his heart beating fast. He had never drawn a person's face from the side before, but he knew how Miss McCaw felt, and he wanted to help her. So he took a deep breath and said, When you look at someone's face from the front, you see both eyes and both ears. But when you look at someone's face from the side, you see only one eye and one ear. From the side, you see a profile, the shape of a forehead and nose and lips and chin. Then Dudley picked up a pen and slowly he drew a forehead and then he drew a nose. He drew two small bumps for the person's lips and a bigger bump for the chin. And then he drew an eye and an eyebrow and some curly hair on top. I still don't understand, said Miss McCaw. Could you do it again, please? So Dudley drew another face. This one had a flat forehead and a round nose. It had a fat top lip and a bottom lip that stuck out and a long chin, and some prickly hair. But again, Miss McCaw asked, Can you repeat that, please? So Dudley Ellington went on drawing. He drew someone with a big forehead and a little nose. 
and he drew someone else with a little forehead and a big nose. And he drew someone whose eyes were shut, and he drew someone who has mouth was open. Dudley drew an old person with a wrinkly line, and a happy person with a bouncy line, and an angry person with a fierce line, and an unhappy person with a sad line. Dudley Ellington kept on drawing, adding hair and hats and glasses and freckles until the entire board was covered. Then Dudley gave his teacher a piece of paper and a pencil and said, Go on, draw a forehead, any sort of forehead. You can do it, Miss Macaw. Oh, he was encouraging her. When Miss Macaw hesitated, a few kids giggled, but Dudley Ellington asked them to stop. And then very slowly, Miss Macaw drew a face from the side. Look at, she's holding her face and all the children are cheering for her. Now, the teacher in room 10 was smarter than ever. She canceled the math test that she'd been planning for that afternoon. She handed out paper and pens and announced that the rest of the day would be dedicated to drawing. And look at, they're all eager and enthusiastic. They're showing each other's pictures. She's excited because she's got two pictures she figured out how to do. Thanks to Dudley Ellington. And look at, she drew a picture of herself and it says, thank you. <laughs> so on your paper, you can do this too. How does it start? A forehead and a nose and some bumps for lips and boom, you have a profile. Have fun.